Welcome back. <clears throat> this is Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel. I'm going to be answering now questions from this new syllabus of the Cambridge 0580 stroke 0980 paper, um, which is um, uh, <clears throat> the, the actual first paper when I'm making this video has not actually come out yet. So this is the specimen paper. This is the, the first specimen paper. So the syllabus for the 0580 is going to change in um, you know, the, the, in March 2025. November 2024 will be the last of the old specification and there will be a new specification starting from March 2025. And this is the specimen paper that the examining board has um, released to give us an idea of the types of questions and the format of the exam. So it's changed quite fundamentally because now you have this paper paper 2 which is going to be a paper which is non-calculator okay so paper 2 and paper 4 are still the extended uh, you know um, versions you have paper 1 and paper 3 as the core paper 2 and paper 4 as extended but paper 2 is now basically a um, basically short answer questions which are non-calculator so you don't you're not allowed to take a calculator with you into the exam Right, which is basically a game changer for many students who up to now have been used to being able to use a calculator at all times in the exam and there were certain topics where they were able to kind of work backwards or you know try and um, you know cheat the system in a way and use their calculators to answer questions even though you know you were asked to show steps they were able to use the calculators in order to help them to do that now that help is not there and uh, you know things like checking your answers and stuff like that using the calculator which also um, you know for, for example adding fractions together um, now you don't have that option of checking the answer using your calculator to make sure that you've got the right answer you've done the right thing so it changes a lot of things which may be in some of the older um, p papers that I have answered from the old specification for these type of questions and I'm going to now change my tact and tactics and I'm going to change my uh, way of explaining some of these questions with that in mind that we have a non-calculator paper paper two and um, so that's very important now the paper two used to be one and a half hours now it's two hours the paper four used to be two and a half hours now it's also two hours so they're both it's the same number total time but both papers are now two hours long and um, what's happened now is the paper two used to be 70 marks the paper four used to be 130 marks now they're both 100 marks so it's still out of 200 but they're both equally weighted and the paper uh, four is now more like the old paper two, but with some extended questions as well. So it's not such a um, intense kind of, uh, you know, in-depth type of questions. There's a mixture of short answer questions and more long structured questions as well. So it's the, 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 the whole format has basically changed. All right. One of the things that you'll see is that they have given you a formula sheet. Um, now, most of these formulas, um, you know, like for the triangle, circle, circumference area, curved uh, surface area of a cylinder, um, those things were not given before. They used to give you the curved surface area of a sphere, of a cone, sorry, and the surface area of a sphere. Um, they wouldn't tell us the volume of a prism, um, but for a pyramid, they would give you this formula. Um, the cylinder, they wouldn't give you the volume. They would give you for the cone, they would give you for the sphere. So some of these formulae before were not given. Now, um, you know, some of, them, some of them were given in the question itself. Now they might not be in the question itself. So you have to come back to the formula sheet to check if it's there. Um, we also have the uh, triangle, the sine rule, the cosine rule, and the area of a triangle. That was not given before. Now it's all given. So less memorization for you. And also the quadratic formula, which most of you should have memorized anyway but that's also given to us in this formula sheet so there's a few, few things here which helps us to um, have to rely less on memorizing okay so that's I guess uh, a good thing um, but you have to remember that the formula sheet is in and you I think you have to go back to it to check yeah, they won't have some of these formula in the questions like they did before now let's get started now when I'm going through this paper I'm going to go through each question one by one Okay, so I'll make a video for each question and it might seem a bit weird, especially with the paper 
where the questions are quite short in the beginning well it's because I want to save the videos in categorized playlists one for this paper so you'll see at the end of the video a playlist here which will be for this paper and underneath you see a playlist a link here which will be the playlist for the topic that that question is from all right so I'm going to even make them a bit more specific as well all right so um, so my play my I'm gonna have like a playlist which are quite specific um, to um, certain topics to help students to search for particular kind of questions when they are revising or they have some issues so that's um, what I'm the way I'm going to do that um, and the other thing is I'm going to use this, especially like some of these papers like the specimen paper as a way of going through some of the basic concepts so I might take a question that should take you a few seconds and spend a, a few minutes explaining um, the question so you, to, to give some foundation and background for the students so that they understand so don't think I'm just going to read through the mark scheme I'm going to actually use this as a teaching tool to explain to my students you know and to give them the fundamentals and maybe you look at some other examples on that topic as well to make it clearer for you so that you can understand better so without much further ado let's go on and start this first question so the first question here it says as of course it says calculators must not be used in this paper again they tell you that it says work out 0.01 squared now in the past students would just put this in the calculator and write the answer down without understanding why it is the answer okay now you have to um, understand what to do now most of you did this in primary school so first of all something squared means that the thing multiplied by itself so 0 0.01 times 0 0.01 now when you are multiplying two decimals together most of you will have memorized from primary school that it's like you ignore the decimal points so you write it as one times one okay and that gives you one and then you count how many decimal points there were in the question how many decimal points you ignored and there are four one two three four so you have to go back four spaces so that one goes like this one two three four the decimal point has to end up there so you have 0 0.0001 and there's your answer that's how most of you would have learned how to do this in primary school and it's absolutely oh there's another zero sorry it's absolutely fine if you do it like that and you get your marks for this but I like to explain why okay so you can understand what's going on now first thing I want you to notice I haven't put this is equal to that because they're not equal of course 0 0.01 times 0 0.01 is not equal to 1 times 1 I've written as 1 times 1 to ignore the decimal points now ignoring the decimal points basically means multiplying this number by 100 becomes 1 and also multiplying this by also 100 becomes 1 so in total we've multiplied this whole thing by 100 times 100 which is 10,000 100 times 100 is 1 with four zeros so we've basically multiplied by 10,000 so in order for us to go back to the original magnitude that we need the answer we get when after we multiplied after we've multiplied these two numbers together we have to take that number and divide it by 10,000 and that's the reason why we end up with 0 0.001 so I didn't put here equals this because this these two are not equal but this is equal to that and that's the reasoning behind why we have to go back four spaces why we ignore the decimal point means we divide by the number that we multiplied by in the first place which caused these to become whole numbers that we multiplied together okay so that's a little explanation there of um, you know multiplication all right and if we get to a question in another video what we're dealing with and division with decimals that also is another um, separate topic which I will uh, go through in more detail now in the new syllabus we I have to explain this in this way because you do not have the calculator in the old syllabus you just put this in your calculator and write your answer down and most students would not even think about why or how to do the question now you have to think about how to do the question but I also like you to understand why we do what we do Okay, some people will just memorize it but it's better for you always to understand what's behind it so that's why I explained that in a bit more detail so that completes question number one 
from this um, specimen paper. As I said, I'm going to answer the other questions in uh, separate videos uh, so that everything can be saved and categorized according to its specific topic. So you'll find the playlist at the end of this video over here, which will explain or where you'll find all the other questions from this paper. And in this playlist over here, all the questions I have answered dealing with multiplication of well, of basic, ba I'll put the basic arithmetic playlist here, all basic arithmetic questions here, and I'll put another playlist here specifically for um, arithmetic with decimals. Okay, so that all the questions involving multiplication, division, addition, subtraction of decimals, I will put them in this playlist over there. And if you would like to subscribe to my channel, you can do that by clicking on this link over here. Okay, so I hope that was clear. Thank you for watching and see you soon.